Who's ready for the UFAM rally on May 16th? I am. I am. What's with the microphone, dude? Well, I'm practicing. Like you've had it for days. Yeah. Almost going on a week. I know. I'm practicing for the UFAM rally. Oh, it's like when you told us to practice for the recovery stories. Absolutely. And I'm the MC, so I figured I would just record myself. That way I know what I sound like. And then I play it in the car on the way home, listen to it, and figure out what to do and what not to do. So it's really been helping me so far. Don't you have a bunch of that recordings already? Uh, we have like almost 900 podcasts, but it's different. You yeah, know? It is different. Because I'm talking to people in front of people. So that's why when I walk into a room, I'm like, hey, Justin, stop doing that. You've done this lots in your career. I have. But never in front of people like this. There's going to be a crowd. Well, I mean, I've been well, 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 technically, you are correct, people. not like in front of this crowd. Not sober people, nice yes, that's true. Yeah, they're sober. Because if you get in front of drunk people, who cares? Right. But th these people are sober, and this actually means something to me. It's a huge honor being the MC for the UFAM rally. Yeah, we're not flinging poo in Arkansas. No, we're not. <laughs> no, we're not. So I think that was funny to watch, though. That's why I have the microphone. Have you done accents at all, like, to figure out what you want to do and how you want to sound like? No, it's more like we have to be like, um, so since you've been practicing, hit us with your open line, opening line. Yeah. What's your opener? Can't you open, can't you just edit some of this out? 